Hi, welcome back to our channel. We are Chase and Malia, and today we are once again uh, reacting to Seventeen. And oh, this man. is just, you know, we, we have one person to thank. The usual, the most wonderful Rebecca. Thank you, thank Rebecca. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for sponsoring another video. You know, the reason why all of these people have you know, good content to watch is because of you, because of you, and your choices, and we are so to, thankful uh, to support our channel and to uh, <laughs> to bring us amazing um, videos that we can just dig, a, tear apart, and, and learn so much from. Absolutely. So thank you, Rebecca. Today's video is going to be a live performance, which are always our favorite. And this is not just the vocal unit, it doesn't look like. So it looks like it's no, the whole crew, yeah, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, great. Yeah. This is called Same Dream, Same Mind, Same Night, 17, Power of Love Concert, Two one 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 four. I'm just kidding. You don't need to know that part. If you guys are new to our channel, we are Chase and Malia. We are singers ourselves. We love talking about singing. We love breaking down professionals and just trying to figure out what they do and how we can do more of that and you yeah. can do more of that. We can all just get better at singing. So if you guys are interested in that, please stick around and let's just get started. Already excited. Why do they have such jams? Well, I think this is the vocal unit. Look, is it? There's only five of them, and it, though all all of them are the vocal unit. That's now I'm even more excited. Yeah. Oh my Again, gosh. no hate to all of seventeen, but like vocal unit, dream team. Also, we, we we're vocalists. We're singers. we're singers, and and honestly, we Ugh, we just... we have never been. Um, uh, deep into the K-pop world, you know, no, we're, we're yeah. we are beginners we're and, and little, you know, we're amateurs. just po amateurs and posers, posers compared to most of you Absolutely. in terms of how long you've been following these bands and like, mm. and how well, you know, you know, the genre and what like, they bring. Yeah. yeah. We watch a lot of K-pop on this channel because mm -hmm. there's a lot of really good singing in K-pop. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's so much uh, talent mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's coming out of, of just all of these groups. Totally. And so, that's why we watch a lot of K-pop. It's Absolutely. not because we came from a K-pop background. No. Um, and so that's why we're also, we have special places in our hearts for, for the vocal this unit. specifically vocal unit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I thought the video was slowing down. Let's rewind just a little bit and keep going. He has two times now just surprised me because I, know. I feel like in other like uh specifically the killing voice performance yeah. when he had when he kind of took a solo mm -hmm. um it was a little bit more held it was like mm -hmm. it was just sounded yeah. smaller but that sounds like he's moving through it and it's yeah. just easy and he's just singing and floaty yeah. i think in like a really nice way there's like a buoyancy to yeah. it that is just really nice 100%. DK's voice, <laughs> it just leaves his body and goes into mine. Oh like, my gosh. I am now Stay him. my wife. What are you doing? <laughs> Not. <sighs> like I feel it in I'm my vein. I lose my whole marriage <laughs> over, over this. I just, can we watch it again? Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, wait, but oh, I sorry. also want to comment on a lot of the beautiful 
There was beautiful singing. Head voice. Yes. And or falsetto. I yeah. call everything falsetto when guys are head singing voice falsetto. Anyway. Yeah. Um, how do you practice that? Mm. The more you sing and the more you relax into yeah. your falsetto, um, and the more you kind of lean into those really forward vowels, the more it's going to be that clear. Mm-hmm. Right where it's where it's clear. Yeah, it's kind of vibrato. Yeah, and it's just pretty. It's pretty, right? And so, like a lot of, yeah. oh, you know, it's really breathy. A lot of people when they try to mm. hit that falsetto stuff. It's really breathy and it's, you just kind of really relax into it. And so spend a lot of time in your falsetto. Sing everything in falsetto. You know, really just stay in that the whole time. And then you can dial it in just like all these guys have done. Absolutely. And I, would you say too that that's another one um, thing that you would benefit from the fogging of the mirror exercise? Oh, yeah. Because I feel like with falsetto, the fogging of the mirror exercise that we talk about, would, even in the last video, was like you have so much air that you would fog up a mirror. Yeah. And that's what I think that kind of singing requires. Well, it's all your air all, all the, the time. time, okay? Okay, let's listen to it again. Let's do it. <laughs> the way that he navigates that ascending line, that line goes, it stretches him. Na, 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 na. Yeah. yeah. It feels like it's just, like, I feel like there's pulling, and that's just a weird way to describe it, but, like, the amount of energy that is being used to go through that, it just is so mm-hmm. tangible in his, like, resonance. Yeah. You know and, what I mean? And this is such a mellow song. So Absolutely. It's... it's, it's I think difficult to balance like the energy that it takes to sing up there and the feel of the song. Like you still got to be kind of chill. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I also think like, you know how a really good crescendo is like perfectly um, gradual. I feel like he did that in energy. Mm. It was like a crescendo of energy that was just so gradual. And I don't know, everything he does is so nuanced and like, extra like mm-hmm. it's like just the next level i think yeah. i think but. all of them though are just so um tight yeah in the sense that they can all sing the song together together very well totally I gotta listen to that part real quick. Look how look how closed his mouth is. I know. And that is because he got he has it so, so finely forward. Mm-hmm. And it it's the only way I think to sing up there yeah. effortlessly the way the way he's doing that absolutely it's, it's insane we talk about that like mouth position a lot mm-hmm. where it looks like you're smiling and it's super relaxed i think that's just a sign that you are those things relaxed yeah. you know and yep. and you're not like working hard or adding extra tension into how you're you know singing that line because you don't need to you don't need it. you don't exactly. need to add add anything more than when you were talking when right. you're talking you know how, how wide does your mouth go? right you know? how much do you use those muscles and yeah stuff? and yeah. and why is singing any different exactly He had some beautiful singing in the last video we watched that really surprised us. And I think this is just like even more consistent with that. And quickly flipping oh in my gosh, yeah. to that falsetto and the one that I was saying earlier, the clear one where you just, you're still having all of the presence that mm. you were when you were singing mm. your full voice um, in a moment. Yeah. And like, that's tough. That takes a lot of... Of, of training and just really knowing your voice. I think presence is exactly the right yeah. word to describe that. 
This is also the lightest it is I've so. heard uh, Sung Won sing. Mm-hmm. Um, he's usually got these big belty parts, but this is, he's, you know, searing really lyrically and, yeah, absolutely. And, and lightly and having these really just pretty, you know what yeah. I mean? He's, he, I don't often hear him sing pretty. I hear him sing amazingly right. where it's like, where it's like raw and powerful and awesome. Right. But this is sweet and soft and, and, and a diff- and a different, I think. Um, color of his voice than I've heard before. Absolutely. That's that vowel. It's like close and forward that they all have so good. Yeah. Ku. It's they say ku. Yeah. And they barely open their teeth. It's like the shit. And it's just ku. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. That might be the highest I've heard him sing. Na, na, na. And it's beautiful. Yeah, it's Both gorgeous. of them just sang super high. But like that, what he brings with his voice and his mm-hmm. power to something that, that high yeah. is just. It's, a, it's really amazing. It's really unique it's really too. Amazing. Yeah. I'm serious. I feel like that vocal unit is like, it's just kind of next level. Yeah. We talked about this in a previous 17 video, but like the vocal unit of 17 is so, they all have unique voices, but, and they all bring such unique colors to this group, Mm -hmm. but they're all like excellent. Oh yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Well, it's hard to be one of the best in the world without being without that. Yeah. Every single member being absolutely Amazing. Excellent. And I think, too, what we saw in this performance, they specifically all excel in that head voice falsetto range, Mm. but they all bring very, very different colors, I'm going to say it again, to that range. Mm -hmm. And in this song, you know, they're singing similar lines, they're singing similar melodies, but they all bring different colors. And I just, I don't know, I'm so entertained and inspired by them vocally, even though it's hard for me as a woman because I don't, you know, it's a different range in timbre, but I just, I really enjoy that. I think it's so neat. And really impressive. It's hard for me as a man, you know, when you talk about DK as a woman, I mean, <laughs> it's a... Uh... But like for real though, like <laughs> chills. Yeah, I, I, I really love the vocal unit. And mm-hmm. I think I'm going to refer to myself as a vocal unit <laughs> myself. Vocal you unit. know, I, you know, maybe we'll make sure it's, it's just a vocal, vocal unit, unit right there. Um, but I, I don't know. I just love... Good singing, yeah. And so this is this is another just wonderful example of really good singing across the board. Totally. Um, I yeah. I think that if you are an aspiring singer, or you know, you just want to sing better um, in your own car or shower, you can really learn a lot from these guys. I think they. 
they use our two main main foundations of singing, which is air and vowel, 100%. very, very well. And there's tons of examples yeah. in this performance of them doing just that. So I hope that you guys learned something from this video. We learned that we love them even more than we thought we did. Mm -hmm. You know, every time that is the case. So um, we hope that you guys learned something from watching us. And if you happen to be new, consider subscribing. We make videos like this all the time. We are Chase and Malia, and we will see you next time.